Hi there, and welcome to 106 Consulting. Today we'll take a look at adding labour resources to Primavera P6. Turning now to the P6 software, you first need to learn how to add resources to the system. Typically, resources are maintained by the administrators. However, for your training purposes, we need to add a few of our own trades and materials to the system. This is done by clicking on the Resources button, which takes you to the Resources view. In the sample data, we already have a good hierarchy that we can add resources to for our project. Under the ENC Trades Parent resource, we will need to add a few resources. To do this, we will need to click on the Trades resource. We can now click the Add button on the right-hand toolbar. This will run the new resource wizard. We'll add the first resource using this wizard, but let's start by selecting the Do Not Show This Wizard Again option. We'll add subsequent resources using a slightly different and faster technique. In the Resource ID field, we'll enter HVAC Eng with a resource name of HVAC Engineer. Now we'll click on the Next button. And in the Resource Type dialog, we'll go with the default selection of Labour. In the next dialog, we'll enter a price unit value of $40 per hour. The Default Units Over Time field and Max Units Over Time field will remain at 8 hours per day. This says we have just one HVAC engineer available for 8 hours per day. Now we'll click through to the Resource Calendar dialog and choose the default Select an Existing Calendar option. In the next dialog, we'll go with the Trades 5-Day Workweek Calendar. It inherited this value from the parent resource. At this point, we can click on the Finish button to create the new resource. With the new resource highlighted in the table area, let's take a look at the tabs in the bottom layout and verify the settings for this new resource. In the General tab, we can see the correct ID and name. The Details tab confirms that this is a labour resource, is using the Trades Calendar, and has a default Units Time setting of 8 hours per day. We can also see the Auto Compute Actuals and Calculate Costs from Units options are both checked. The Units and Prices tab confirms our 8 hours per day max units over time. We also see a standard rate of $40 per hour and an effective date for this rate. If we anticipated a rate increase in the future, we can add that increase and its effective date as an additional record in this tab. Let's say that the HVAC resource will have a rate increase six months from now. We can click on the Add button at the bottom of this area. This will add a row to the table. We can now enter the date and new rate in that table. This forward pricing capability can be useful in getting more accurate future costs for longer term projects and future bids. Now we'll add more resources to the Trades resource. Again, we select the parent Trade resource and click the Add button. Because we disabled the resource wizard during our last operation, clicking the Add button simply adds a new row to the table in which we can enter the details for the resource. This next resource will be called Foreman and will be our management resource for the entire project. There will be just one foreman, so we'll give this resource an 8 hours per day maximum units over time setting in the Units and Prices tab, along with a $55 per hour standard rate. In the Details tab, we'll verify that P6 created the foreman as a labour resource and that the Trades calendar is also assigned. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 106 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. 
For more information, visit our website at 106.com for full details on how to get started.